She's teepee. Getting a headache from all your coffee. You gonna slide it up today? Yeah. We're back. Where are you going? You said slide it up. Charlie, get the heck out of here. What are you talking about? Don't nobody need to see my belly. <laughs> all right, so we are back here today. And the reason why we are here today, because we are going to start the process to, it's gonna take a while, but we're gonna start the process to move, break down each box and get both of these printers and our shaker in our store. But the first thing that we need to do is Shelly goes out there and grabs all the cleaning supplies is we need to clean everything because we've got some hits on a lot of these items. So we will be printing with this shaker because something happened to it with the screen. So we're not going to sell this. We're going to print with it with uh, that DTF printer right there. And then this right here is probably on its way to be sold. Did you bring that rag that was in the kitchen? Rag that was in the kitchen? That white rag you pulled out, did you bring it? I don't know if I brought it, but there should still be this white rag that you can use the backside. Yeah, and clean that. And then there's also uh, another rag if you need it, but. And then the, the foam, so we're using some Super Clean, which is a super strong cleaner, to clean up this one right here. So you guys see the little hand spots and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, like the little oil. Yeah, and we're actually, we measured this, and this is 33 and a half inches. So we're gonna go to the store again, because we think that this will fit through the door. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try to remove this right here and this and see what I can do to see if we can fit this. Well, not this one. See if we can fit this one through the door so that we can print on it. This one here, we have been getting hits, but it's not sold yet. Uh, the ionizer, we think we got somebody who could really use it because it can take, because of these two outlets, see the arrow going in, it can take two dryers. So two dryers, this is also a dryer. It doesn't matter the size of the dryer. It can 100% without a filter, clean the air from two dryers. So you have it, uh, the tube comes out, plugs into this, it sucks it all into here and kills it. So this way, like the extractors that we have at the store, the tall ones, those need filter changes every, depending on how much you print. So if you print a lot, you're always changing filters. Whereas if you plug it into this, it's once, it's done. You never have to buy filters again. So this thing is really, really, really good to have if you are doing high output production. So once uh, we sell this unit, we're gonna get a couple more and we're gonna be doing more videos on this one specifically. But today's video is more like a cleaning video and then we will do a separate video when we showcase exactly the units that we have. So if you're watching this video, this thing has not been bought yet, but we got a potential buyer for it. So Chelly's gonna start cleaning that. I'm gonna help her. This right here, this is the heat press. We're probably gonna keep this yes. as a demo, but you will be able to buy it. That we were gonna keep as a demo. We're probably gonna sell it. This will be available to buy and this one will be used by us. And then if you like it, you can you can buy it. So baby girl's up there chilling. She's calling the landlord to see if we can run a 220 volt line because they, they told us that they can't take the windows out. So the landlord just said, Chelly just talked to the landlord. We, we got to email them about the 220 volt line. So this one, and you guys can see, this 220 volt, this is pretty much like a dryer for the printer, which we will be running in the store. Uh, we teamed up with this manufacturer, so this is the printer, another printer that we will be selling and using on top of the Mamaki. So in our store, you will see two printers, Chinese and Mamaki's in our store. Uh, both of them are for sale right now. On top of that, this plug right here for the dryer, this little compact uh, mini dryer, uses this type of plug right here. So they're both 220 volt, uh, but they use two different types of plugs. So that means we have to run two different lines. It's very weird. And then we also need a battery backup that can take both plugs because these printers are extremely finicky. And if the lights flicker or go out, which happens a lot here in Conroe, especially Texas, because we're on our own grid here in Texas, then uh, it could be tragedy for your printer, whether or not, regardless of the type of printer it is. And then we also have the 220, I mean, the regular 110 volt, UV DTF printer, but we will not be printing with that. That thing is gonna be for sale. We might set it up to look cool, but it'll be a demo for sale. <laughs> She's yawning. Uh, we also have the 24 inch shaker, which we're probably never gonna take out of the box because it's just so big, or at least until we get the 24 inch, or until we get the two dual doors to just put it into the store. Uh, but again, this is probably not the shaker that we want to move forward 
with talking about and selling, right? We, right. we yeah. want to move forward with this right here, um, the compact 24 inch, soon to be, uh, well, essentially a print tech uh, shaker right here. So we'll be printing with this one because of the screen messed up on its way here. Selling this one, this one's ready. Like I said, this thing right here is probably sold, but if you need one, the ionizer, it will be available. And then we'll be getting in a few other items too. Uh, we're looking to do stuff with all the manufacturers overseas, whether or not they're Italian, like the Nilt XY Cutter, or Chinese or from Switzerland or whatever, we're looking to do business uh, with Muto and all other companies that provide equipment and also parts. So we have the parts available there in Dallas to fix all uh, iFair DTF shakers. The ones that have like the vents on top, we have the parts to upgrade those, right babe? Yes. And we definitely have the knowledge to upgrade those too. Also, if your Mamaki DTF printer is overheating, we have a solution for that as well. So you can contact us at flashprintingdepot at gmail.com and we can help you with your issues. So if you have overheating, is overheating issues with your Mamaki, we can help you. If you have drier issues, regardless of your printer, if you have drier issues, contact us, we can help you. Oh, snap, the lights just went out. It's pretty cool, they got this cool little light thing right here. Let me swap it over. Consumables, film, powders, inks, um, this, Heat press. Heat press. Double yep. head. Not double head. Double plated heat press. Yeah, double plated heat press. Uh, fume extractors. Two, sh yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. This ionizer right here where you can hit, hook up two dryers too. And let them know that just because a lot of these are demos, essentially. Mm hmm But if you see it, we can get it for you. So yes. you can purchase it and then it'll... Brand new. Yes, it'll come mm -hmm. brand new. Um, it's just that a lot of people are seeing what we have and they're buying it up. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, so these are our demos right here. Yes. Demo units. Yes, to show what we can do. And yeah, that's really going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in for another video. We had to come in here. We got a few things in the works that we're going to knock out really quick. And then the goal is to get all this stuff in the stores as soon as possible. Get all these lines put in so that we can get everything up and running, tested and start printing. Yeah, start printing immediately. And then on top of that, start selling these units so that you can just come in. Usually by appointment, somebody was like, hey, are you in my city? I'm gonna swing by. And I was like, hold on, this is gonna be predominantly by appointment because we don't want people just coming in and kicking the tires and asking us a bunch of questions, especially whenever we're trying to work and close deals. So it'll be, it'll be, if you're coming in for ink and stuff like that, consumables, that's fine. But if you're coming in for equipment, please be serious. Because a lot of this stuff and a lot of the equipment that we're gonna have is gonna be, you know, forty, fifty, sixty thousand, all the way up to a hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff as we sell other machines. So just like all these dealers in America, um, all these other dealers, if you you can go in and get a few things, but they want you to be serious whenever you walk in there, not just like I said, in there just to kick the tires. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for the next one.